Welcome back to the Home Stitchery Decor YouTube channel. I'm from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, and I teach farmhouse DIY decor and some small business stuff. So how to get your uh, craft business off to a good start, get yourself into some farmers markets and local stores and sell online uh, with some digital products. If that's uh, something that you're interested in, hit subscribe. The tutorials are super fun and uh, we got a good group of people going on here right now. So uh, a couple other things in the news. I now have a newsletter where you can sign up for the Mandela of the Month discount code. So head on over to the website, uh, enter your email and you'll automatically receive the code. And um, I also have a Dish Tell of the Month giveaway uh, to thank you guys all for being here. It's fantastic. I mean, I really am um, starting to grow this business uh, by leaps and bounds. So uh, please uh, go over there and hit uh, the newsletter and you'll be entered in all the fun stuff. Okay, so now today, what are we doing? We are going to go over this uh, AccuQuilt Studio and how I'm cutting Soup Bowl Cozy dies on um, the cheap. So Soup Bowl Cozy's on the cheap. This is what this is. Um, so this, I use the um, AccuQuilt Studio. This one is actually called an AccuCut. I got it secondhand. It's the same exact product. Um, so you can still purchase the AccuQuilt uh, Studio, but you can also do this on a Go machine. And I'm going to break it down on um, all the little parts and services and stuff that you need uh, to get yourself going on that uh, kind of a setup. So I'm going to flip the camera around and I'm going to be out of the camera for most of the shot. But this is going to be a good one. So stay tuned. Okay, you guys, we're going to break down how the cutting machine works here and all the tools for it. Remember, I am using the AccuQuilt Studio. Mine, as you can see on the front here, is actually called AccuCut. Um, it was the school version. I got mine um, secondhand, but it's the exact same machine. This is what they sell um, now is the AccuQuilt Studio. I think there was uh, two different setups, like one for school where they were doing paper crafts and then one for quilting. So that's how that worked. Okay, so the first thing you're going to need is this extra large mat. And as you can see, mine is very, very, very well used. So I'm still going to use it. Um, I can scrape it off with a scraper. It's still working fine. That is the mat that you're going to need. Then you're going to need the Soup Bowl Cozy die, which uh, is about $100. And this one works with the Studio, uh, the Go Big Electric, and the Go Big. So you can't uh, do this on the smallest machine like the Go Me. Uh, it's too big, so you need to purchase uh, the correct machine for the job. And then because I have a studio and this is just a go die, so this go die needs to be um, thicker, you need to purchase this adapter. So that's going to bring up uh, your die to the level of this roller where you need to be um, putting it through um, at the correct height so that the fabric pushes down into the die. And then you're going to need this huge tray. And I'm going to put a link in for all of the different products, whether you're getting an AccuQuilt Studio or you're getting the Go Big or the Go Big Electric and break it down for what you need for each one of these. So there'll be, um, I'll either do up a blog post and put the link in the description down below or I'll write the whole description. It might just be easier to do a blog post because then you'll actually get images. And just so you guys know, um, I'm sure you've been here for a while and you know that I've had this AccuQuilt uh, machine for quite a while, but I've gone ahead and applied to be an affiliate for this company and lo and behold, they said yes, which is fantastic. Uh, so if you do purchase anything through a link, I do get a small commission. They are not sponsoring me yet. I just get commissions off um, if you purchase a die or something like that off of that. So if you do do that, thank you very much. You're not obligated to do that, and that is not the purpose of this video. So I'm going to show you guys now. Um, so this is the setup that we're going to use to cut them. But now I'm going to flip over and show you guys how I'm getting uh, the batting on the cheap, because we all know that's the expensive part. Okay, so let's get that set up. Okay, so we're over in the batting section here. And the first thing I want to go over with you guys is I've re recently purchased this uh, True Sharp 2 rotary blade sharpener. It does 28 millimeter, 45 millimeter, and 60 millimeter blades. Um, and because this batting is so thick, I tend to go through a lot of 60 millimeter blades. 
Now, I kind of, I read the reviews on this. Um, they were kind of mixed. So I purchased this myself from Sewing Machines Plus. I will put a link in it. Uh, Sewing Machines Plus has also let me be an affiliate. How cool is this? I'm an affiliate for so many things right now. Um, and this one was kind of, I gave it an 8 out of 10 when I first uh, did the unboxing of it. Just because when I did the blade, um, I didn't have it put in properly. And when I cut it, uh, it still had a little snag. And to be fair, it had a snag for two or three cuts. And then um, I resharpened the blade and then it was perfect. So I'm still going to give it an 8 out of 10. Uh, for me, it's going to be worth it just because of the volume that I'm doing. Um, but if you're interested in one of these, uh, make sure that you uh, shop through the link in the bio. And um, again, I'm an affiliate for it, so I'll get a small commission. And this is how I'm keeping my blades super sharp for this project. So you do need a 60 millimeter blade to cut the next uh, portion here, which is going to be this massive roll of batting. And I just want to go over with you uh, with the batting. Um, I'm using Pellon Wrap and Zap Batting. I'm getting it off of Amazon. I'll put a link in the description for it. This one is 90 inches by 90 yards. And the reason I'm buying this much is because I, I'm not even kidding you when I say I sold 200 soup bowl cozies over Christmas. 200 soup bowl cozies. And the price of this Pellon Wrap and Zap Batting is just ridiculous. And I find that it's better if you can buy it um, in 10 inch intervals. So what does that mean? It means on the internet, um, you can find all these packages that are 45 by 36. But because the soup bowl cozy, uh, the die itself is a 10 inch die, you have a lot of waste with that. Um, they also have one that's 22 inches by 10 yards. And I'll put a link in the description for that as well. But this, I did the math on it the other day. This bolt here at 90 inches by 9 yards is by far the cheapest way to buy this batting. Um, so I won't bore you to tears uh, cutting every single strip of this. Um, but I am going to cut this entire bolt of batting and cut it into soup bowl cozies. Um, not only because I want to see how many soup bowl cozies I can actually cut out of this, but to prove to you guys that this is uh, the most inexpensive way to produce these. And actually a friend of mine asked me, you know, kind of for a breakdown of this anyway. I typed something up for her, um, but I'm also a visual person, so I like to visually, um, you know, tell people what I'm doing. So I'm just going to unwind a whole bunch of this. This is going to be a long project today to cut all this batting. So I'll, I'll break in the video a few times here, show you guys what I'm up to, how big the stack is getting. Sorry for the crumpled paper sound there. How can you tell I'm from Canada? I say sorry for everything. Okay, so what I like to do is I know that my um, die here, just, just so you guys can see, because like I said, I'm visual, right? So this is my ruler. This is the one inch mark. This is 10 inches by 10 inches. So I don't want to waste too much of this batting. I want to be able to cut it into strips first. So I'm going to line it up here on the edge. I'm going to grab my ruler and just over 10 inches on this side here and on the top here is where I'm going to make my cut. Make sure when you're cutting this length that you put your pinky down on the edge of the ruler to hold it in place. And you can start right from the bottom. This is very thick batting. So I just want to cut off a 10 inch swath in strips like this. So I'm going to cut the entire bolt and then I'm going to come back and show you guys how to get this set up on the die itself so that you can get the most out of this cut. All right, so we'll do a couple more here just for fun. I know there were some people curious, um, you know, what were my best sellers at the Christmas markets and I'm going to go uh, I'll probably do a video on it too, but um, it was rugs, 
you haven't seen the rugs, go take a look on the website. Um, then soup bowl cozies, then dish towels, then dish drying mats. And then, gosh, I don't know what would be tied after that. Either my dish claws or my adorable pillows. Okay, so there's some 10 inch swaths of this. can just line it up on a number there that's 10 inches apart. Perfect. Okay. Give this one a little swipe here. So as you can see, that blade is cutting nice and sharp. And I'm going to cut this entire bolt of batting into these 10 inch swaths and we'll see you back here after that. All right, here we are. We are at the last cut of the bolt. And just a reminder that the bolt was 90 inches by nine yards. So I am gonna have a little bit of waste here. I do cut mine just over 10 inches. So that's not too bad for the end of the bolt. And now I have all of these swaths up at uh, 10 inches wide okay so now we're going to go over to the actual AccuQuilt machine and uh, get this lined up so that you can cut out the um, batting for the cozies okay great now for the fun part we're over here at the AccuQuilt studio machine remember mine is called an AccuCut just because I got a used uh, version from the school and it's the same um, company. They just call the school version the AccuCut and the quilting version the AccuQuilt and it is the same thing. Okay, so we wanna line up the ends here as best as we can. Uh, take your um, plastic guard off the top and how I do it is I just overlap just a wee little bit on the die edges. So this is where you can see I've cut just a wee bit bigger than 10 inches. And I wanna make sure that everything is just over the edge of the die. And then how I do it is I start it with the open edge here. And because I am cutting so many, I wanna cut them quicker. So I flop this back the other way and again, just line it up just a wee bit bigger on this other side too, um, because the fold in the, the middle here will sometimes miss the edge. So make sure you've got, you know, just maybe a quarter inch overlap on the die itself. And then I grab my uh, plastic guard here and I just start rolling. So there's going to be quite a bit of pressure. This is quite thick batting. And as you can see, I can cut four at a time. And I roll it back the other direction just because um, I like to have the left hand side where the open side is. So when I line it up again, it does the exact same thing. Okay, so I just pull this off. And as you can see, there is a perfectly cut soup bowl cozy batting. So there is one and I did cut four lengths or four layers here. So two, three, four. So that's just one pass with this machine. Um, I personally like the studio machine um, for the price of it. I can cut a lot more. 
um, with less effort. I know some people don't have the arm strength for it and they need the Go uh, Big Electric, but this also works with the Go Big. So same premise, we're gonna line it up here on the edge, just a wee bit overlap. I've got my open edge to the left of me here. I flop my batting back this way, make sure it's just over the edge on this other side. Grab my guard again, and again, I'm gonna roll it through. I like it because it's a bit of a workout. I also love, love, love that I can take this when we're camping. Um, my husband works in town and sometimes I can work out at the campground and then we just um, leave our house sitter, you know, here at the house and uh, she can deal with the house stuff. So it's a great way for me to get out. And I have um, the soup bowl cozy dye and the strip dyes that I really, really, really love. Um, and I don't need any electricity because this one is manual. So here's four again. So this is just off that one um, swath of 10 inch. And now we've got just a wee bit left here. So get rid of your scraps and we're gonna open this one up. And if we give it just a wee bit of a tug, it will fit this die again. You don't want to stretch it out like so it's threadbare, um, but just a wee bit of a tug and you can get one more cut out of the end piece of this so that you have very, very, very little waste. And we'll roll it back this other way. And there you go, you can see it's come right off. Perfect. Okay, so let's count these up. This is from one swath of the 10 inch cut. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So nine fillers. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut all of these swaths of batting. Gosh, wish me luck. Um, I should probably put a mask on because it's quite fuzzy in here. And I'm going to uh, count them up when I'm done and show you guys exactly how many I've got out of this one uh, large bolt of batting. And like I said, don't worry about the products. I'm going to write a blog description up and I'll link it in the description of the video down below. And then you guys can just click over to the website and uh, read the whole blog and it'll have all of the details and the tools in there for you. Okay, so wish me luck guys. It's gonna be a long day of cutting soup bowl cozy batting, uh, but I'm gonna get it done and I'm gonna show you how many I have when I'm back. And we're back at the end of the day here just for the last cut. And so I just wanted to show you guys that this is the last strip that I'm doing here today. And I'm gonna quickly cut this one through and then we're gonna go over some numbers here uh, for how many of these we got from this one bolt of fabric. <clears throat> so I also wanna go over some regrets from today. I regret drinking three Baileys and coffee. I really should have stopped at two. And I also regret not wearing my Birkenstocks until about 20 minutes ago. I really should have worn them. Um, but this hasn't been too bad. I mean, if I had hurried, I probably could have done it in about, um, I would say about two and a half hours. But I did not hurry and we had some other things going on in our house today. And I did some laundry. So, it's all fine and well. Okay, so there's the last one. So I just wanted to go over with you some of the scraps. This is uh, most of what the scraps were when I just did the single cuts. This was the scraps when I first started the bolt where I um, cut the 10 inch wide strips. And I could even save these for another project like coffee cup holders. And then I had uh, three uh, passes on the bolt here that these three, uh, they just were not wide enough 
to do a 10 inch at all. So you know how I had said, if it's not quite big enough, you could give it a little tug, but there's give it a little tug and then make it completely threadbare. So I have three swipes of that 10 inch swipe um, at the end where it just didn't work out so well. Okay, so then what I did as I was doing this was I stacked all of these in um, 10 per stack. So this last one is two, four, six, eight, ten 10 again. Okay, so how are we doing here? I want to show you guys. Isn't that amazing? That is uh, the stack of fabric here that I have. I'm going to move my acting quilt all the way over. Okay, how cool is that? There's the stack. But wait, there's more. There's always more. I'm going to double that stack. So that is how many I got out of that one bolt of 90 inches by um, 9 yards. So when we do the math on this, uh, I have 330 um, cuts of soup bowl liner. You need two cuts per each soup bowl cozy. So one for the top, one for the bottom. Uh, you sew them together with your top fabric and then turn it inside out. So I actually have 165 soup bowl cozy sitting here uh, waiting to be sewn up. So that is fantastic. And then I sell mine at $15 a crack. So $15 a crack at 165 is $2,475. So I'm going to do the math on all of the um, supplies with the cutters as well. And I'm going to break it down for you uh, in a blog post with the three different types of cutting machines that you can get from AccuQuilt that you can start this project on. Um, but basically you have to do this project once um, in order to pay for your supplies. Um, and I mean, honestly, I think my setup was uh, under a thousand dollars to do all of this for this many soup bowl cozies and the profit is uh, $24.75. Um, less your thread and less your top fabric for this. So not quite $24.75, even if it's $2,000, if you want to um, have buy like ridiculously expensive fabric for the top. So you can make money off of soup bowl cozies. That's how I did it. And uh, link over to the blog post, download it for your reference, and then uh, shop off the links, guys. That helps me out a lot. Have a great day and we'll chat with you later.